James Hamilton from MMA UK, joined by a familiar face, Dean Truman, uh, Cage Warriors champ. Uh, so, obviously, over here at Bellator at the moment, your teammates just fought uh, Jimmy Wallheads. What did you make of the fight and the performance for Jimmy? I mean, he got the win, which is the main thing, but I think he, he was the best Jimmy I've seen for a while. I know he didn't get a finish, but he was calm and he did everything correct and, you know, stayed safe, got the win. Do you think it was kind of important for him as well to get those rounds back under his belt? Because he has been out for quite a while, uh, I believe June 2017. So do you think getting the three rounds is just going to help him going forward, getting that time again? Yeah, 100%. I mean, coming off two losses, the, the last thing you want is another loss, yeah? Mm -hmm. So getting that win is a massive thing and, and hopefully he'll come back, get a few more, more finishes like you see Jimmy do. He's a finisher. Mm -hmm. But tonight he, just, he did what he had to do to get the win, so yeah. happy days. And obviously, moving on to yourself, you have a massive fight coming up against uh, Soren Back, uh, where you're going to defend your title against the uh, former uh, lightweight. I mean, what do you make of that whole situation with uh, Soren relinquishing and dropping down to challenge for your belt? Yeah, I think uh, on his part, it's a stupid thing. I, like, he's not done a cut, a, a test weight cut. So who knows? Is he going to make weight? Uh, it's going to be a tough one. I know that I would never be able to make bantam weight. That extra ten pound would kill me. So what's it going to do to him? Uh, relinquishing the belt was stupid because he's just going to be beltless by the end of it. He should have kept the, the lightweight belt, come down, lost to me. At least he'd have had a belt to defend after that. Yeah. And, but I mean, ultimately for you, if you, you go in there, uh, defend your belt, take out a, a former lightweight champion, surely that can only be good, good for you, uh, you going forward? Yeah, of course. Defending the belt raises my stock no end. Um, but, you know, I, I'm just going to honour my contract with Cade Royers. Uh, keep defending the belt and just see what, what offers get put on the table. And, and the other thing, you're looking forward to being out there, obviously you're going over to his home turf to defend your belt, which, I mean, I guess you would want to do it back here, but that's not the way it's worked out. So you're going to, you're going to have fun with that when you go out there? Yeah, I mean, it's international experience. Yeah. Uh, that's that's the that's the way I'm looking at it from, from my point of view now. Um, you know, I could look into the fact that I'm defending my belt in his country, which I think ain't right I think I should be defending the belt one in my country and two close to home you know I, I'm losing money fighting for his belt but that international experience is driving me at the minute uh, and get that all that Addy did having to go there is that just fueling you going into this fight just maybe you want to take that out and soar in, in the cage 100% um, what better way to stick it to people than going and, and beating people up you know yeah. perfect well listen Dean thanks very much for the time right, mate appreciate you. it cheers, cheers mate.